Oh. 30. Oh. I don't think that's even possible, if I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I want a good start. Well, once you get a good start. Also, there's no music in this game. So, so what makes this game so good, but also so hard? Is that this game actually have top spin and, uh, and slices and stuff. So for example, if I go for top spin here all the time, and then a slice. Like, you, you, it feels like you need to know how to play tennis to play this game good. Which, I do not know how to play tennis. Also, something I noticed is, it's usually easier to win points when he is serving. Ah, what's up? And like playing playing the net in this game is impossible. One one cool thing though is this. Look here. You can literally throw the ball super high and like that decides how quickly the ball falls down and you can control your serves like that oh. I tried it also there are some super shots that I do not understand how to do Like you can jump and stuff. And I do not know how you aim. For example, there I aim to the other side. Love. 
15. Let yeah, I think it's something like that. I think it's kind of like wreck and attack. But a lot harder. Also, another thing with this game is that depending on how long you hold the button, actually decides how hard you hit the ball as well. So there's a lot of things to keep track of. To play this game really well. For example, if I hit that super loose there, it will not go as far. So for example, if I want to force him closer to the net, I can just hit the ball slightly. Well, I did hit it a little bit too loose there. Oh, did not reach it. Fifteen forty break point. <laughs> I tried to use the super. Can I have your permission to touch your right? Touching my racket, you're always allowed to do. Oof. <laughs> did not 15, love. did not aim there at all. Okay, let's throw it slightly higher. Also, another thing that makes this game like like I know I keep telling things that makes this game like really hard. But another thing that makes this game really hard is the fact that the momentum of, of your movement So if you want to read an opponent and you read it wrong you will you will lose the point because, and the same thing, they can hit balls that you have to read. Like there is coming up an opponent later in this tournament where you have to read that opponent. Because if uh, you try to react on what he's doing, you're not gonna have a good time. Love, 
40, break point. Uh, we're currently planning for the next big 20 and I was like maybe you could put this in this game in like as a winner match but or win a set but I think even that might be too hard for some people straight out too hard like Oh. Fifteen, love. No. Nope. Thirty, love. That's another thing that's annoying with this game is that the hitboxes are so weird. So even when the ball is behind the CPU, the CPU can hit the ball. Oh, there you can see the momentum. <laughs> I'm trying to angling the ball right now and it's not working.
Bunlar. Ah. Ah. Did I have a chance right there? Ah, too hard. That was my own fault. God damn it. Get it over the net. Okay. By the way, Aaron, I I had this uh, toxic toxic idea. Love forty match point. The the toxic my toxic idea works the other way around with your thing. So you know how with the, uh, your uh, your document that if I wanted to target someone, let's say I just wanted to take uh, I'm trying to think of a name here. Uh, yeah, if I wanted to take Lack Attacks record, I could just search search his name and attack those but what if I wanted to do the reverse
let's say for some reason I wanted to make 40, having an NES uh, world record something special. So what I wanted to do is reduce the amount of people that has world record on the NES. But to do that I would need to target everyone that only had a single world record. So how how could I utilize your doc to just search for people that has a single world record? Or is there some way you could util utilize that for me? Love, 30. T -hi says I have two world records only. Yeah, so you're... 15, 30. Yeah, I would just wanna remove that part where I need to alt that for and just have a list of all the games that that person only has world record in that game. Also, this opponent is really bad at high balls, so you can do a lot of scores like that on this guy. No. Oh. Fifteen. Oh. Thirty, fifteen. Yeah, I'm. I'm not uh, talking about, like you know, having X amount of world records. I ooh, I hit the ball with that special. I'm mostly just talking about it would be fun to like reduce the amount of people that has world records rather. Oh, he hit it! That stupid fucker! Like currently, how many people have an NES world record? Like 400? Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Advantage, receiver, break point. Yeah, I don't think I still have multiple world records on the NES. If I even have a NES world record, to be honest. I haven't played the Super Nintendo in so many years. Oh right, yeah, that's probably the only one I still have. I got that. But 
But yeah, you can see even now on the second opponent, the game is really, really hard. I'm just gonna lose this point. And yeah, basically, basically, Fiago. But I'm not gonna s target a specific player. But I'm gonna target players with just one world record. And I know, I know that sounds like super toxic. But I think it's kind of fun. Well, yeah, I I wouldn't mind if someone target, targeted my records either, because my records aren't strong. Like, Ow. And the reason why I want to do it through Aaron's uh, document rather than going through like Rayquaza or something is that I believe Aaron's is all uh, main categories. 15, 40, break point. And not like Rayquaza is like the main category that beats the game or something. Yeah, there's a few games I feel like, like one game I can think about where I would not count them, the first category as the main category is like Stack Up for example, where to even be able to participate in the main category you have to have uh, Rob the Robot. Which Many people do not and will not get just for that record. Okay, if that's the only world record he has, he will be one of the hardest people with single world records to beat. But yeah, obvi obviously we would target the easy or the weaker ones first. 
we need something different to happen here. Okay. And obviously we we wouldn't be able to get all the world records on our own. But then, then, like... Like, I also think if, like, the world record on the main category, if there's a single player... But it hasn't been optimized at all... You, I would probably not pick that one. For, for example, I have the world record in Mac Rider, I believe, in the main category, but I did work hard to get that time down. But many people would probably say that maybe picking the high score one would be a better one. I think I was ranked number 5 on Aaron's <laughs> spreadsheet, by the way. So, I was the greatest number 5. 30, I don't think I'm that anymore. I believe uh, I've lost a world record or two over the past few weeks and haven't gotten any. Well, no, no world record that counts for... Aaron's spreadsheet that is. Oh. 40, 15. Yeah, I know Lack Attack beat me in volleyball. Which I do not mind at all. Yeah, I think at least the uh, uh, Famicom games should be updated. 15, love. But the homebrews 15, oh. feels like opening a big can of worm. And we should not even mention what Hex would do. 15, 40, break point. Like, I think... I think if you're gonna add homebrews, you gotta do something like... Only completed games. Because if you look at like... 200 homebrews games... 100, 100 will be demos. 75 of them will be something that is basically something you think they made within 40, 
15. An hour in the NES Dev Maker 2. Well, that's another thing. I do think that game could be added. Because that game isn't really a demo in anymore, it's abandoned. And it has high competition. But I think it would require to meet those requirements where it's high competition game. But then you also have these no-brainer games that should definitely be added, like the Battle Kid games. I I ha hate those net rollers. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, most things would be easier if you were a programmer. <laughs> like that's something I feel like when I'm helping out with best of NES like besides my opinions I really can't <laughs> bring something else to, to the table. What the fuck? I was sure that one would go in. Again, I thought that one was in.
Ah. Love, 15. I think if we get the correct opponent for the final match here. The final match shouldn't be that long. Ah, Mr. How did I hit that ball at all? Final map. Oof. Okay, yeah, I think this is the correct opponent. So it might not be random. Oh, damn. So, what this opponent does is, it likes to continue laying the ball to the direction you push it. So, if uh, you shoot it, shoot it to the left, into the middle, he will usually continue shooting it left. So with that knowledge, you can kinda guess what's going to happen. So like here, I knew he would shoot it over there. And I bet like in the, the long run into the tournaments you get and stuff, that you will get other opponents that have like different patterns what they like to do. Love, 30. 
at the gym. Go, man. Lab 40, break point. But yeah, without knowing that this thing about this guy, he is really hard to beat. Sometimes he tries and confuse you. But yeah, another thing is, I don't think you need to win every tournament to get to Wimbledon. So for a full game run... <laughs> so, so for a full run, you would have to figure out like... Where to lose, or if you wanna lose full tournaments, or if you wanna go... A little bit like halfway through a tournament and lose. Yeah. I should have read that. Yeah, like... 30, 15. Like, I'm pretty sure the long play of this game is passed. Or at least tool assisted in some way. 30, oh. Because that run is like 8 hours and 20 minutes. And I think that's probably... A lot faster than a human can do it. Yeah, that's probably where I would then would put up like a casual playthrough, like twelve to fourteen hours. I wonder what character he did play though. Advantage receiver break point. I should probably watch that playthrough, to be honest. Just to see if I can... Because there are some special shots that I haven't figured out exactly how they work. And maybe they make a big difference.
15. Oh. Uh, one too far. Fifteen thirty. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna allow him to break here. No, they have slightly different stats. What makes it interesting is that you could go boy or girl, and they start with no stats, but they level up throughout the whole tournament. So the question is, like, do they get stronger than the main characters or or do they get uh, as strong and if they get stronger is it beneficial over being weak at the beginning How did I miss that one? Love, 15. I just got a new idea here. Okay, that did not work. Okay, just gonna lose this one as well. Love. 
Yeah, I think I will have time to show up a little bit of the next CPU as well, just to... ...showcase how ridiculous it gets. I did not have a chance on that one. Whenever I get into these situations, I kinda do wanna lose. I don't know how I even hit that ball, but... But you can see here that, like, sure, I'm not playing perfect or good, but I'm playing decently, I would say. And if I would need to play all the tournaments and win them, we're probably talking about a 9-hour speedrun. Didn't, didn't do what I wanted. Advantage server. 
No! Advantage, server. Dude. Server. Advantage receiver break point. And finally. Now yeah, only two more. Fifteen. Love. Fifteen. Oh. But I think this is a pretty okay, like short category for the game. Their skunky loot. <laughs> Whoa. And time will be game set. Well, the game set appears. 